There are three missions planned to Mars this summer, the US, China, and tonight it was the turn of newcomers, the United Arab Emirates. The young team of scientists and engineers here at the Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center have just made history by launching the Arab world's very first interplanetary mission. Today is a very important milestone in the history of the UAE and in the, the history of the Arab world. The launch of the first Arab outer space mission. It's been a roller coaster of emotions really from being excited and happy and grateful for this opportunity to being very nervous and terrified. Uh, but above all, we're very, there's one emotion that takes over and that's hope. To think that I would actually work on a probe that's going to Mars, that is just a dream come true. The lead up to launch was tense for the team here who've already been working on this mission for six years. The coronavirus pandemic piled pressure on a tight schedule and then bad weather at the launch site in Tanagashima, Japan caused further last minute delays. Starting July, August is the window that is the opportunity for you to be able to go to Mars. And if you're not able to make it within the launch window that you have, you will have to wait another two years. We anticipate and think about things that we might face when it comes to risk and when it has to do with schedule and so on. COVID-19 was not, a, not one of them for sure. Um, I think we had less than two weeks to plan everything. Um, that was lots of nights without sleeping, lots of pressure. and. We made it. It's only the start of this mission. If successful, the data collected will help us understand the Martian climate throughout an entire year for the first time. Knowledge to help us in our understanding of climate change on Earth.